So I mentioned in the last video that there was some sort of conspiracy against me in my school. And uh, I want to finally actually talk about it. Now there's not too much like hard evidence. <laughs> Most of this is just my memory and stuff. Like I don't have physical stuff to show you. It's just stuff that happened to me and weird coincidences and stuff like that. So um, I want to talk about that. But first, before I get into anything, I want you to to pause the video after I say what I'm about to say. I want you to open up a new tab, and I want you to go and look up in Google Nagano Tapes. Nagano Tapes. And click the first link. It's an Olympic documentary, so it'll be on, like, theolympics.com. I want you to watch the first three minutes of that documentary. Just don't spoil anything in the comments. Don't say anything. If you don't know what this is, if you've never heard of this before, right, just go do that now. Trust me, it's worth it. It's the best thing you will ever see. It's just a... Trust me. Just go do that. Just go open up a new tab, look up the Nagano tapes, and click on the one that's an Olympic documentary. Don't look at anything else. Don't look at any news articles or anything. Just click on it without any spoilers. It is the most amazing thing you'll ever see. You back? Great. Okay, so, my school. Conspiracy theory. So, as I said before, I went to this weird international baccalaureate private school due to various situations with a Turkish billionaire. If you don't know about the Turkish billionaire, go watch my video recently where I talk about um, that weird resort thing that I was. But due to various circumstances with the son of a Turkish billionaire, I ended up going to this fancy schmancy, fancy schmancy um, international baccalaureate private school growing up. So this was between the ages of um, I'll just, I'm going to use the English, um, school system here, because I don't know, I can't, I always forget if it's plus one or minus one with the American, so just look it up yourself, but from year two to year nine, I was in this school, so this was, this school was both a primary and secondary school, so you would go to the primary school from, which when I was there, was from year two to year six, they eventually expanded it back to year one, but when I was there, it was, well, not when I was there, but like, when I started, it was started at year two, but while I was there, they expanded it back to year one. But uh, from year two to year six was the private private school, a uh, primary school, and then you would go to a different campus for the secondary school. So, in primary school, I, I don't remember too much of it besides various traumatizing experiences. Um, but one thing I do remember is someone somewhere was obsessed with having me labeled as a bully. Now, again, I don't remember this that well, so it's quite possible that I was genuinely just an awful kid who was who was bullying people. Um, now, from my particular memory, what it seems more like is just that I couldn't communicate my emotions very well, um, and I couldn't explain what was happening to the adults around me, and instead I just lashed out um, by sort of being mean to people and stuff like that. So there was, a, there was two kids, or like a group... I had no friends, starting off. I had no friends... Um, and I, I really wanted to be led into this particular friend group, and uh, no matter how much I tried to ask them to play with me, or whatever, they would just tell me to fuck off, like they didn't want anything to do with me. And so I was just lonely every break time and lunch time, and I just couldn't do anything. And uh, so yeah, basically the, what happened is I just ended up just like, well fuck you then, and I just started like hitting them at one point when they were just kept constantly rejecting like no one wants to play with me because I was like a snotty kid and like both figuratively and literally I literally just constantly had snot pouring out of my nose as well uh, to the point where they used to bully they used to laugh at me and call me bogey boy <laughs> so yeah bogey boy that was a funny time um, but um, so th they would fuck with me and they wouldn't let me play with them and whatever and eventually I just got pissed off and I just started hitting them um, and like being fucking mean to them because obviously they were treating me like shit so I was just like fuck you and I started treating them like shit now the reality of the situation may be completely different than how I remember it it may be the fact that maybe these were just perfectly innocent kids who just didn't want to play with me right now and I just freaked the fuck out as a fucking Aspie and just started <laughs> had a fucking spurg out and just started just freaking out and hitting people that's also possible but whatever happened the teachers and the parents of those kids framed it as me bullying them, and then framed it as those kids wanting to leave the school 
because I was bullying them. Now, I know this isn't true, because after this whole accusation thing went, like, happened, I fucking made friends with one of those kids, and I, like, you know, reconnected with him, and we actually became, not super close friends, but we became friends of some kind, and I went over to his house, and we got along fine, and he was perfectly happy hanging out with me, it wasn't awkward, it wasn't, like, you know, if you were hanging out with your bully, you wouldn't be, like, happy about it, and, like, get along fine, we got along fine, so something, and this was the kid whose parent was, like, trying to say I was a bully, but I went over to his house while she was there, and she could see me hanging out with him, and we were getting along fine, so I don't know what the fuck that was about, but again, I was very young when this happened, this was in, like, year three, so I barely remember it. Another thing I remember from this time is I was on the playground, uh, in the playground, whatever, I was playing on the playground, I fell over and cut my fucking shin open, and there was lots of blood, at least in my memory there was lots of blood, maybe it was just a tiny cat cut in real life, but in my memory there was lots of blood, and I was, like, crying and freaking out, and I went over to the teacher, um, who was the head teacher, was on duty, and I went over to her, and she basically told me to fuck off, and she just didn't, she didn't give a fuck about the fact that I was bleeding, and that was, like, the first moment when I realised, like, oh, adults just don't give a fuck about you. Like, they, they, if, they, if they pretend, it's just because they're pretending. But really, this is like what this is what it's like for an adult to just see a bleeding child and just be like, yeah, fuck, yeah, okay, go away. I don't, obviously, I don't remember exactly what happened, like what she said or anything, but I remember specifically that she didn't help me and I had to just, like, limp over to the fucking nurse's office to get my get a plaster myself. Uh, a bleeding seven-year-old or whatever. Um, so that that was, like, my first indication that something was up with the teachers at this school. Um, now, I was getting in trouble in primary school with some regularity. Um, one time I remember specifically, they would start... But they started making shit up. This is when it got weird, is they started making shit up about me. So, um, for example, uh, there was one time when I was walking through the hallway and I'll just get up to demonstrate what I was doing. I was pretending to be an aeroplane, as you do when you're a kid. So I was walking through the hallway like this. Come on, stand up, you fucking piece of shit. I was walking through the hallway like this, right? And then a teacher was coming the other way, and I was walking through the hallway like this, and then the teacher was coming, and I went, whoa, over his head, right? With my arm. Whoa, over his head. The teacher grabs me by the arm, after I do this, drags me to the head teacher's office, grabs me by the arm and says I just tried to hit him, that I just tried to punch him. And I got suspended for that. I got suspended. Um, or I got detention. I don't remember exactly what happened. But I got in, tr I got in big trouble for that because that, according to him, I just tried to punch a teacher. And no matter how much I said, no, I didn't try and do that, there were no other witnesses. Um, and obviously the teachers are going to believe the other teachers. So, uh, you know, I got in trouble for that. That was, that was a big moment where I was like, so they can just say whatever the fuck they want about me and, you know, <laughs> I can't do anything about it. It happened again, very similar. Different teacher, I had some sis that we were doing some arts and crafts stuff, like cutting something up and pasting it. I don't remember what. I think it was French class, so we were probably, like, cutting and pasting French sentences or something. Um, and this other kid asked me, hey, can you pass the scissors? He's on the other side of the table. So I sort of, like, reach over the desk like this with the scissors pointing towards me. I'm holding the blade of the scissors, so the handle's pointing out, right? That's how you're supposed to pass scissors to someone. The handle's pointing out, so I'm holding the blade of the scissors, and I sort of leap over the desk in, like, a, a sort of leaping motion to pass him the scissors. Same thing happens. He happens to be sitting right next to the teacher. The teacher, female teacher this time, same thing, runs over to me, grabs me by the arm, takes me to the fucking principal's office, and says, I just tried to stab her with a pair of scissors. Anyone who was watching could tell that I was, like... There's no way that's true. I was holding the blade of the scissors, passing it to a kid on the other side. The teacher thinks I tried to stab her with a pair of scissors. Who knows if she actually thinks this, or if she's just trying to get me in trouble. Who knows? Again, big trouble, suspended. Now, actually, I remember, in this time I didn't get in too much trouble, because the head teacher believed me for once. The head teacher believed me, he said to me, and I quote, If you're trying to stab her, you wouldn't have missed. That's what he said to me, and I was, like, pretty proud of me. I was like... He, he basically was like, yeah, I know you. If you're trying to stab her, you wouldn't have missed. You're a psycho. And I was like, yeah, I'm a psycho. I'm edgy. I'm the Joker, baby. <laughs> um, so that happened. Lots of other things happened in that school. For example, a kid who was bullying me uh, called Gerald. Um, he, was, he was bullying me, and he was bullying me in French class. 
and he was just like constantly teasing me. No, I don't remember what it was about. But uh, eventually I got, I just, cause like, the teacher couldn't hear him because he was at the back, he was like at the back and he was like saying shit to me and I could hear him, but the teacher couldn't hear him. Um, and so he was saying shit to me and I was getting madder and madder and I would like turn around to go talk to him. The teacher would be like, no, thank you. Stop turning around and focus on your work, you know? And I was just getting really mad. And eventually I was just got like, he kept fucking, fucking with me. And I think he was like kicking my chair or something. And I just got really mad and I fucking grabbed my fucking pencil and got up and stabbed him in the shoulder. And the pencil just broke. It didn't even do any damage. It just broke on his shoulder. It didn't do, it didn't even hurt him. He was like, it was like he was a fucking monster made of like a body, like, you know, this trope where someone like smashes a, an action hero with a, like a bat and the bat just shatters and the action heroes just stood there like nothing even happened, like a Terminator type of thing. It was like that. It was like a Terminator moment. I tried to stab him with a pencil and the pencil just shattered and he was just completely unharmed. And then he got up and just like choked, like grabbed my neck and then the teacher broke it up and we both were in trouble for that. Um, although he got in less trouble because his dad was much richer than my dad. Uh, but he left the school soon anyway. Again, international school, so people were coming and going all the time. Um, it, was, it was very common for someone to just stay for like half a year and then leave. Uh, you know, even the... No one really... I was like one of the few people who stayed for a really long time. Only a few people stayed for a really long time. Most most students would come and go for a few years. Um, so, you know, there was lots of... That was a, an interesting incident where I was probably at fault for trying to stab someone, but I just thought it was notable because the pencil just shattered and I just stood there like, what just happened? Is this the fucking Terminator I'm dealing with? Like, what? And then he grabbed... Then he, like... It's like he, he took a second to... He's just looking at me like... like and he just stands up and just fucking chokes me out. I was like, yeah, that's a that's a moment that I remember very vividly. Not, not really got anything to do with the conspiracy against me, but, um... Just a notable thing, thought it was kind of funny. Um, so yeah, what else happened in primary school? The primary school was a bit less eventful. Secondary, especially because I don't remember a lot of it very clearly. Um, secondary is where um, stuff gets like more, I can remember it more clearly and I have more like understanding of what's going on. So the first thing, the first notable event that happened, I mentioned this briefly. This is why I think that it's possible that the teachers colluded with an older student to physically assault me. Now, I don't know if this is true, but I, I don't know if the teachers actually colluded with this guy. It's just a possibility. But regardless of that, I'll just tell you the facts as it happened. So here's what happens. I'm in, it's like break time. I'm like hanging out, talking to my friends or whatever. Well, actually, I wasn't, because I didn't have any friends <laughs> at that time. I had friends later in that year, but I hadn't made friends yet. Uh, well, no, I think I... I don't remember what I was doing. Maybe I was playing basketball or something. But either way, I'm hanging out in the playground. Um, and uh, this older kid... So I'm I'm in year seven. Just just fresh, new to this... To secondary school. And this kid from year 12, which is like... Uh, the the highest year in the school. So he's, he's 17, I think. Or 16 or 17. I'm like... I don't remember exactly how old you are in year seven. But I'm a, like young teenager. Like, I think 12 or 13 you are in year seven. I don't remember... But, um, so he comes up to me and he's just like, you're bullying my brother. And I'm like, what? And he's like, you're fucking, you never fucking touch my brother again. Never talk to my brother again. Never talk to my little brother again. You fucking bullying, fucking bullying piece of shit. You're bullying. And he's shouting at me. I'm like, what the fuck? I didn't do anything. And I'm like laughing a bit because I'm just like, what is this guy fucking talking about? This is absurd. I, I don't even like what? And he's like, my fucking brother. And he points to this kid who's in my year. I, I won't mention his name, this kid who's in my year, literally have never talked to this kid before. Literally have never even fucking talked to him. I think I maybe have said like one or two words to him. I just, he never, we don't talk to each other. It's like, like maybe a quarter of the way through the first year that I've ever even known him. There's no fucking universe where I'm bullying him. I've literally never talked to him in my fucking life. I've never talked to him. And he's like, you fucking stop. He freaks the fuck out. I'm like laughing because I'm like, what the fuck is going on? And then he like slaps me, bitch slaps me around the face, like hard. Like I fell down, fucking hard bitch slaps me. And I'm like freaking the fuck out. I start crying, obviously, because I'm a fucking baby bitch at this point. I'm like, what the fuck is going on? I'm like crying. But I'm like still kind of like finding the whole situation slightly amusing. So I'm like crying and laughing <laughs> a little bit. Um, and then... Obviously, at this point, a crowd has gathered of older kids who all think I'm a bully because this, like, 
no one thinks like, oh yeah, someone's just gonna punch someone for not being a bully. So everyone thinks I'm a bully, right? Everyone's gathering around, sort of pointing and laughing at me, telling me that I'm such a, a terrible human being and whatever. And but even particularly this like loser kid, who I know is like a fucking like he's not well liked in his year. He's like normally the subject of bullying. He's a very typical kind of loser kid, but he really thinks big of himself. Um, I don't know if he's actually the subject of bullying. I just remember him being really pathetic, but thinking really big of himself, thinking he was kind of like a, a hard, hard man, even though he's like a manlet and stuff. But uh, he, like, I remember him coming up and trying to tease me. And I just sort of laughed at him. And he's like, what are you laughing at? I was like, really, you? And then everyone was like, oh, you shut the fuck up. I'm trying to be mean to people. Fucking bully. And they were all fucking... And then eventually a teacher comes and breaks it up. They drag me away and whatever. So... You might think, like, oh, that's a bit weird. Why does this kid think he... Like, like, what the fuck was that about? It gets weirder. This is where this is where the conspiracy stuff happens. So, commence a month of psychological torture on me, where every day after school, I get dragged into the teacher's office for an hour for them to tell me that I am a bully, that I was bullied. It's like a CIA fucking black site, like torture routine where they they drag me into an uh, into this office after school where it's one-on-one -on -one, me and a teacher nothing else to do i would say i can't look at my phone i can't do anything i'm stuck there in this fucking room they'll just like walk out go get a tub of tea whatever i'm stuck there it's like fucking you know isolation chamber or whatever i have not it's like an interrogation it's an inter there we go that's what i'm trying to say interrogation every day after school for an hour where they will basically tell me to fucking confess that I was bullying this kid that I wasn't bullying. And I would just be like, no, I fucking wasn't you talking about. I've never talked to him in my life. And it kept going for days and days and days, every day, an hour after school. It's like having detention every single day, which already I had detention. Well, not yet, but later on in my life, I would have detention every... In this school, I would end up at detention every day. But every day, they would drag me in for an hour after school and just tell me, like, confess, we know you bullied this guy. Just fucking, like, just hammering at me, like... They would even do like good cop, bad cop, where one teacher would come in and be like, S look, I, I know you don't think, but is there like any chance that like maybe you did something that would have like pissed this guy off? Like, can you like think back and like, what sort of stuff have you said to this guy before? And I'm like, I don't think I've ever, I think I passed him my pen in like, uh, like passed him a rubber in English class. A rubber is a, an eraser, not a condom. Um, I know Americans find that very funny. Um, I passed him a rubber in uh, English class once, and like, I don't know, I've never really talked to him before. And they're like, you know, are you sure? Like, could could you have you not like been like ritually bullying and attacking this guy and bullying? Are you not like an evil human being? And I'm like, I don't think so. I don't think I'm an evil human being. And it keeps going, and eventually I'm like, maybe this did happen. Maybe I did bully this guy. You know, I'm a fucking child. Like. This is basically gaslighting, is what's happening. In a, in a, in a, I know that word is overused, but in a literal sense, they're trying to convince... It's, it's the fucking torture scenes. That there, are, there are four lights. It's Chain of Command Part 2, Star Trek episode, just happening to me in real life as a child in school. Every, this goes on for a month, where every day they drag me in and just tell me that I did this. And I'm telling my parents, like, like Dad, I didn't do this. And then my parents are like... I don't know, <laughs> kind of sounds like you did, all the teachers are saying you did, and I'm like, they don't know anything, I don't know, and my parents, and especially my stepmom, really believe, she, she thinks I'm an evil person, um, so she really believes I was bullying this guy, um, and then here's something I overheard, I overheard a phone conversation between one of the teachers that was interrogating me, and another teacher, where they were sort of like, saying like, I, I don't remember exactly the details of the words they were saying, but I remember them basically saying, like, how do we get him to admit it? Like, what techniques can we use to make sure that he knows that he did this? And I'm like, and I'm like, knows that he did this? What do you mean, knows that he did this? Surely I would already know that I did, and then, you know, they're talking like that. They're sort of like saying, how can we get him to say that he did this? Uh, rather than, like, you know, anything reasonable. And then another thing I, I overheard, well, I didn't overhear it, but I heard later from my mum, my mum told me that when she went to meet with the teachers about this, that the teacher said that the head teacher from the primary school had called them up and basically told them, like, oh, yeah, that's no thank you. Make sure he gets in big trouble for that. Like, he literally had said something like that. Like, he'd said, like, make sure that, oh, yeah, that's a, that's a problem child. Make sure he gets properly punished. 
um, I don't know why they'd caught up. I don't know why that conversation happened, but, but that's what my mum told me happened, that the, the head teacher from my primary school had talked to the head teacher of the secondary school and told him, like, make sure I get in big trouble. Um, even though I didn't do anything. I want to make this very clear. This is not like in second... I know that some of the stuff I was talking about in primary school, I was like, maybe I did do some fucked up shit to that kid. I don't really remember it very well. I was like fucking a baby. I don't really remember what I did. Maybe I did, maybe I didn't. Maybe I deserved it. In this case, I remember very clearly I did nothing wrong. I know for a fact I did nothing wrong. But after a month of interrogation every fucking day, I'm convinced that I have done this. And eventually I just say like... Okay, maybe I did. And my also my dad is, by the way, very into this sort of idea of just like, cause as little trouble as possible. Just take the punishment like a man, even if you didn't do anything. Just say you did, and just like, just so we can get this over with, because it's a fucking hassle, right? He he's very of that sort of attitude. So he's telling me to do that, right? And I'm an event after. If I just start to believe that I was a bully, that I'm like an awful person for bullying this kid that I've never fucking talked to, right? And they they constantly go and kind of, and it's not just that. It's little things in class. It's little like looks in class that the teachers give me, and they like they'll like purposefully ignore me in class like they won't give me hand like when I put my hand up they they start they stopped letting me answer questions in class they like stopped giving me handouts in class and I'd have to like go like a lot of fuck like weird little tiny things like giving me the eye like sort of like looking at me like in a weird way or sort of like you know just generally fucking with me and that's not paranoia like it genuinely because it stopped after this I remember it stopping after this whole situation passed over so eventually, now I've been fucking psychologically conditioned to believe that I'm a terrible bully and I've been torturing this innocent kid who I've never fucking talked to in like my life. And I'm doubting my own story and eventually I'm just like, I break and I'm just like, yeah, I did it, whatever. I, 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 uh, and I just like admit to this that I didn't do. Um, just because I want this fucking thing to be over and because I do at this point genuinely believe that I might have done it. I'm not a hundred, I'm not like... 100% sure I did it, but I think like, yeah, maybe I did actually bully this kid. Like, maybe they're right. Even though, now looking back on it, I know I fucking didn't. This is bullshit. Here's what happens. I get suspended, right? I get suspended for two days. The kid who slaps me gets suspended in school suspension for half a day. So he just has to sit in a room, of the, or like somewhere, for half a day on his phone. Whereas I get sent home to my parents for like, and miss two days. And that's like, oh, this is going on your permanent record. Permanent record doesn't exist. I Even I knew that back then. But, um, you know, it was a big fucking deal. My parents were very mad at me. And, you know, everything was very serious. Getting two days suspension in the first year or at, at secondary school is a big fucking deal. Like, that's a serious punishment. Um... It's like the second most serious... Two-day suspension is what they do to you as a last resort before they expel you. That's like... It's a big fucking deal to let this happen to me. Um, and meanwhile, the guy that, you know, physically assaulted a, a child, the, the fucking, like, one, two years away from being an adult who physically, like, slapped me in the fucking face gets away basically scot-free because he's gonna... Well, they're not, there's no point in punishing him because he's about to graduate soon anyway. So there we go. That's the biggest piece of single piece of evidence of the conspiracy against me in school. That this whole situation arose. Because remember, this kid, I never fucking took, like, I, I can't even begin to explain how much this psychologically fucked me up. Like, I, from then on, it's like, you know you can never trust anyone again, right? <laughs> like, you know you can't, you can't even trust you. Being made as a kid to, like, doubt your own memory like that, I don't know. Who knows what that fucking did to me? Who knows what psychological impact this whole thing le left? Like, it's literally victim blaming in the most literal sense. Like, oh, well, this guy slapped him? Well, he must have done something wrong then, because otherwise, why would he have slapped him? Now, yeah, I, I, again, just due to the fact that previous things had happened to me in primary school, due to the fact that this kid was, like, well-liked by the teachers who, like, attacked me, due to the fact that I know his family was very, very rich, um, due to the fact that he ba he got off basically without any punishment, uh, or, like, very little punishment compared to me, the person who he attacked, uh, who did nothing, uh, due to the fact that, you know, his parents and my, you know, he, he, 
his parents seemed very close like when they would come in to like the meetings his parents and the teachers would sort of be laughing and stuff and my parents and the teachers would sort of be standoffish uh due to all of these facts that's like circumstantial evidence why i think that they might have set it up with him beforehand i don't know if that's true or not that's like more like further into the depths of conspiracy theory if like it may have happened but i i i won't say like oh yeah they said so the teachers paid this kid to attack me i won't say that uh but it's possible um it's 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 definitely i'm not going to i'm not going to say it's impossible that that happened i'll just say that i don't i'm not saying i'm 100% believe it happened i'm not saying i even 50% believe it happened but it's possible um alleged i'm alleging I, this is my opinion no legal trouble here it's my opinion that maybe there's a 10% possibility 5% possibility that the teachers somehow paid this guy to slap me in my opinion in my opinion i'm um, this is not legally you know, possibly, maybe, in Minecraft, I don't know, <laughs> not legally binding, this is all fiction, by the way, everything I'm saying right now, all fiction, um, so that happened, that's like the biggest thing that happens, by the way, this kid who attacked me later on in the same year, comes back to me, and attacks me again, this time, neither of us get in any trouble, um, I, I, I don't think either of us had any repercussions because I don't I think the teacher came and broke it up and just because this was after school this this second time it was after school he came up to me as I was coming out of the toilets he came up to me and like slammed me against the wall and I was like I thought I told you to stop fucking with my brother and I was like look man I already told you I never talked to your but this time I'm way calmer than before um I don't know why yeah I freaked the fuck out the first time but this time I'm like I'm staying calm I'm like listen I I I have never touched your brother, I've never talked to him, we don't talk, I'm not bullying him, what, like, stop this, and then a teacher comes and, like, is like, oi, what are you doing, go home, <laughs> you know, and we go home, and then I never saw the guy again, and, um, for some reason I never held a, now, this is the other more likely possibility, is that this kid that was in my year, this is more likely than the teachers paying him off, this is a, a, the more likely story, so the kid that was in my year, that I was accused of bullying, this guy's little brother, who was in my class, or some of my classes, um, bit nuts, like, he, 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 um, I don't know what was wrong with him, he might have just been a psycho, he was very much like a loner, like, people would try and talk to him, and he just wouldn't want to talk to them, but, like, not in, like, a, a socially awkward way, I don't know, he was weird, M maybe he was, like, I don't know, he was just a bit of a psycho, like, you could just tell, <laughs> <laughs> he's the sort of guy who like tortures cats um he used to like i know it's like an autistic thing and i also do it but like and i know i probably shouldn't hold this against him but i i uh, it was definitely something i noticed that he would do because he did do it differently to me like i do this like i rock back and forth like this is this is a pretty common like autistic thing it's like a stem like i've always sort of done it rock back and forth but he would rock back and forth with really wide eyes like in class every day so he'd be like this is how he would sit, generally, in lessons, and listen, like this, like, come on, <laughs> I know he's not doing it voluntarily, he's probably just, like, maybe got ADHD or something, but, bit creepy, all I'm saying is, this guy was a weird kid, wouldn't have put it past him, for him to just, you know, be bored, and be like, yeah, I don't like this guy, let's just tell my brother he's bullying me, just to fuck with him, like, that's also a possibility, uh, or maybe, you know, there's a million different things that could have happened. I don't know the story, but I ne and I never will. But that's also a possibility. Um, again, I'm not accusing him of anything, and I'm not saying that like him rocking back and forth is a is a bad thing. You know, I also rock back and forth. Uh, I don't know, weird situation. So then, this is like as it goes on, it, it just gets less interesting. It's just like teachers will constantly put me in bigger trouble than they would for other kids for the same thing so like oh another thing i was in the gifted and talented program this is unsurprising right i was in the, in the gifted and talented program i remember going into classrooms to do gifted and talented stuff and i have no memory of anything that went on in there i have absolutely no memory of what the fuck it involved i remember going to classrooms and being like okay time to do gifted and talented stuff like i would have to go in the middle of lunchtime so it would be like once a week or something like that i don't remember of it. I don't remember any really anything about it, but like I remember having to go in lunchtime, so like I'd have to eat my lunch quickly at the beginning of lunch 
because lunch is like ha half an hour, and then halfway through lunchtime, I have to go to a classroom, and I don't remember anything else besides that. No memory. Very, very interesting, isn't it? Very interesting, isn't it? Very interesting. Um, if you know, you know. If you know, you know. I'll just put it that way. Uh, <laughs> But, uh, but yeah, that was something that happened to me in that school as well. So that's uh, maybe take note of that. Uh, yeah, interesting that they just kept me in the Gifted and Talented program the whole time. Because I guess they just thought I was a super genius. <coughs> um, so, yeah, they, honestly, like, yeah, the rest of the story is, is there's nothing as interesting as that part. Like, um, it was mostly just, again, me getting in disproportionately large trouble for tiny things. Um, like, oh, you're in your phone after you're in your phone in class. Take your phone away for like the rest of the day. That's pretty normal. But then also you get an hour suspension, whereas other people would get a uh, not suspension detention. So you detention for an hour after school for just having your phone out in class, whereas other kids would get like fifteen minutes detention for that. Um, or like, they they had a rule, technically in the school rules. You was one of there was a rule against like crossing the road in a on a red like. There was a road, to get from the bus stop to the school, you had to cross a road, right? And so technically, they, they said, like, if we catch you crossing the road, like, when there's cars coming, that's a d detention after school. But no one ever got in trouble for it, except, of course, me. <laughs> they, did, they did get me in trouble. Never heard of anyone else getting in trouble for this, except me. I'm pretty sure that I'm the only one in the history of the school who ever actually got in trouble for crossing, uh, you know, at the wrong time when there were cars coming. Even though I was perfectly safe, because I can fucking see car... I'm not an idiot, but yeah. I think I'm the only person who got in trouble for that. Uh, uh, what else? There, I, I got in trouble for graffiti that I didn't do once, but that was kind of fair, because I'd been in trouble for doing graffiti before that I did do, and so they probably just thought it was me again. So maybe that wasn't a conspiracy, maybe it was, I don't know. Um... What else? I got my section at talent show cancelled under specific under suspicious circumstances. Me and my friend were going to do a magic show at the school talent show, and um, randomly the teachers went up to me and were like, "Yeah, we've had to like cut your shit out because we don't have enough time." And I'm like, "Why? Why our shit? And, eh, you're not doing it anymore. So all that practice that you did, nothing. Ah, you're not playing anymore. It's like so. Yeah, that got cut out. That that, that was shut down. I wasn't allowed to do that at the talent show." Uh, not that that really mattered that much to me. Um, yeah, I think that's about it. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else. I mean, I did, I did, I have like overheard teachers talking about me. The thing is, like, I don't, I feel bad saying, like, I feel like I'm being disingenuous when I say stuff like this because it's like, I don't remember exactly what they were saying. I don't remember the exact words. I just, like, remember overhearing teachers like talking about me and saying like really mean shit about me like uh like oh yeah he's a bad kid like that sort of thing but i don't know if they actually like i don't remember specific words so i feel like i but like multiple times throughout all of my schooling i heard people teachers talking about me behind my back and like insulting me um yeah weird uh like uh there was also a whole weird conspiracy with regards to the school and my mum, which may have been, I don't know what that was about, and I don't know the details, but they just never would contact my mum about anything, even when, like, she would specifically ask, they would just constantly ignore her, um, as if she didn't exist, don't know why, uh, there was one time, I remember, the school got broken into, and they tried to pin it on me. The school got broken into on a weekend. They, they, they broke a window and stole a safe. And the teachers genuinely, they didn't, it didn't go far, but genuinely some of the teachers thought it was me. Like they, they, uh, this one specific teacher I remember, a, the, the, a Canadian teacher, the Cana we had this one Canadian teacher and he hated me so much. And um, he genuinely tried to pin up, he, he said something, I don't remember exactly what he said, but he said like the school's been broken into or whatever. And he like, looked at me and he like, he said like, I don't know, fuck, I wish I could remember this more clearly so it would be a better story. But he, I remember he made some comment that like, 
implied like oh yeah i think it's you that did this and he came up to me like in break time and was like so the school's been broken into i'm sure you don't know anything about that do you i'm sure you don't know anything about that and i was like what the fuck are you want about i'm a child <laughs> uh, they never it never got very far like they never they never actually got me in trouble for it but i'm pretty sure he thought that i did it or he was trying to push the idea that i did it to the other teachers i don't know that was weird that was a fucking weird fucked up thing for that guy to do uh, so I remember that happening. Um, yeah, I think... Th th what else? The thing is, like, I if I had been more, like, clever, I would have actually been able to, like, maybe do some research and actually uncover the stuff the teachers were saying about me. But most of it is just, like, suspicion and, like, weird, weird goings on. Like, all of these weird coincidences. All of these weird times where I would get in trouble for things that no one else would get in trouble for. Or where, like you know, the whole situation with the slap, and then the whole situation with the... There's, like, so many little things that, like... And he overhearing teachers talk... Like, why would you be talking about a student behind... I don't... I, like, why would... I don't know, it's so weird. Uh, or, like... I don't know. I, it's so fucking weird. Or even, like, the way I got expelled from the school, finally, is the fact... Well, firstly, the fact that it coincided with when son of a Turkish billionaire stopped talking to my, or like, stopped needing my dad's help or whatever. Um, so that was interesting. Maybe the Turkish billionaire guy was paying the school extra money. I don't know what was going on there. Maybe they knew, maybe he somehow had a relation with the school. Who knows? Um, oh, there was also one time when the head teacher went behind my back to my best friend at the time and told him to stop hanging out with me. I remember that happening because he told me that it happened because he was my best friend. He said that the, uh, he got called into the head teacher's office and the head teacher said, you need to stop hanging out with no thank you. He's a bad influence and also he, I don't, I don't know, like he doesn't deserve your friendship, stuff like that. Like, oh, we know that he's not a real friend to you. Apparently he said, like, he was trying to, <clears throat> my friend said that the teacher said that, um, that they were trying to like, insult my personality, like, saying, like, that I wasn't really a, a true friend. Uh, so that was fucked up. <laughs> that happened. Um, but I guess I just forgot about it. Um, but we just kept being friends regardless. I don't think either of us thought that was that weird at the time. I'm only just realising how weird that is. Um, that is pretty weird to happen. Neither of us really thought that much of it at the time. Uh, there was another time when a teacher tried to, like, almost hit me. A teacher almost hit me because I missed a basketball shot and it rolled near her. <laughs> and she almost hit me, and I, I was trying to get her to hit me by, like, being like, if she hits me, she'll get fired, and that'll be hilarious. So what if I just, like, put on the smuggest face and just smile at her while she's shouting at me and just laugh at her? Maybe I can convince her to hit me and get fired. Didn't work, sadly. Uh, that would have been very funny. Uh, I think that's about it with regards to the conspiracy stuff. I, I like a, a lot of it is like like little like stuff that I can't really say. Like it, how do I put it? Like it's a lot of like very tiny things that like individually aren't really worth mentioning or notable. That are like like you know times when a teacher would just con to conveniently forget to give me the handout. Like and it seemed to only happen to me. Or like oh, where a teacher would conveniently one time give me the wrong homework and then still put me in detention for not doing the homework uh, because apparently I should have asked one of my friends to check who does that who asks oh let me just call my friend up and make sure my homework that the teacher gave me is correct the teacher who hands out the homework by the way so somehow she gave me the wrong homework sheet specifically me and got me very interesting very interesting that happened like, lots of little stuff like that, like, oh, um, you, you made a joke, like, someone else makes a joke in class, and nothing, the teacher just turns a blind eye to it. I make a joke in class, you, you stand out in the hallway for the rest of the lesson, you know, that sort of situation. Like, th there was a lot of stuff like that where the, my punishment was just disproportionate to what other people would have gotten. But that could be written off by the fact that I was just constantly getting in trouble, and so maybe it was like, in their minds, it was all stacking up. Who knows? But thankfully, when I left, when I, well, left my mutual agreement at school, because um, what happened was they said, like, we're, it, they said to my dad, you got to pull, you got to, you got to pull this guy out of the school, you got to get him out of here. Um, 
if you if you do that then it will just be like he left but if you don't do that then we'll have to expel him so it's like which one do you want do you want him to have an expulsion on his record and my dad just pulled me out and put me in a regular school where things were also fucked up um but probably even more not fucked up directly against me though in this situation it was just generally fucked up but that's another that's a story for another time the second school i went to after i got kicked out even more fucked up than the first school um very fucked up um lots of very crazy things happened there but uh, none of them were a conspiracy directly against me yeah now that i think about it calling my friend up to the office and telling him to stop hanging out with me because I'm not a real friend is a really weird thing for a teacher to do. I never even really thought about that before just now. Uh, you see, like, all of these weird fucking things. It's fucking weird. There was one time when... I don't remember it very well. I, I just have, like, a vague memory of a teacher, like, trying to stop me from eating, but I don't remember really what happened, so I, I don't want to, like, give false information or something like that. I don't mean, like, physically stop me, but, like... I don't remember. I don't remember what happened very well, so I can't... I don't want to, like, give false information. I don't want to... I don't want to make shit up in my head and present it as fact, you know? But I, I have, like, a some memory of, like, a teacher who kept trying to talk to me so I didn't have time to eat at lunch or something. I, I don't remember. I, honestly, I don't remember. Um. Yeah, fucking weird. Fucking weird time. I wish I could remember what happened in those gifted and talented programs. Wish I could remember any of that. Don't you? Don't you wish you could remember that? Alright, thanks for watching. Quick addendum, because I remembered three more things that happened, but they're very brief. Um, firstly, there was one time when I was in, uh, like, woodworking, I guess. It wasn't really woodworking, but we were doing something with uh, hot glue guns, and I asked the teacher, how hot is the hot glue? And she said, why don't you find out? And then I was like, okay, and I put it, I, I, she saw me do this, made no attempt to stop me, put it on my fucking hand and gave myself a bad burn. And then I was like, why did you tell me to... What, what? And then she was just like, looked at me like, I guess you should go and wash that. That was a weird thing that happened. But like, I don't know if that was just, I can't say if that was incompetence or malice though, could have just been incompetence. Um, then there was the anti-Semitic PE teacher <laughs> who made Jewish jokes. Uh, again, not really uh, like attack against me, I guess. I don't know, maybe he thought I was Jewish. Maybe I am Jewish with the big nose, who knows? But, um, you know, that was a weird thing. Uh, and then the very Jewish English teacher who tried to recruit me to her synagogue on like multiple occasions. Come on, hey, so um, you know my synagogue, uh, it's very we got yeah, that happened multiple times as well. So there we go. <laughs> Some interesting things as well. The Jews are always involved. Last thing I forgot to mention. As far as I'm aware, I was the only person in the gifted and talented program. I never met another kid who I know was in the gifted and talented program, or gate, I guess it's called. Uh, I never knew another person that was in gate. Like, any other club or thing that I was involved in, I could remember, like, oh, yeah, there was these other kids that I knew that were... No one else... I never met another kid who was like, oh, you're gifted and talented, so, so am I. I don't remember talking to anyone in the... I mean, I don't remember anything from going into the gifted and talented classroom and doing whatever the fuck I did in there. Like, maybe I was the only one in the whole school. I have no idea. I don't... Like, I feel like I would know, like, oh yeah, me and these other smart kids, but I don't. Like, it was just me. <laughs>